Um, this is a follow-up tutorial, much less of a separate tutorial, um, that I have for the people that uh, watch my downgrade tutorial on how to downgrade iMovie 13 back to iMovie 11 if you are on uh, OSX Mavericks and you installed uh, or updated iMovie 11 back to iMovie that if you installed or downloaded or updated iMovie 11 uh, to iMovie 13 and you want to downgrade um, I gave you the steps how I will post the video in the link in the description in case no one saw that but this is a follow-up tutorial um, because you guys may be having some technical issues slash difficulties and I'll show you what I mean by that so anyhow let me open up iMovie and so as you could see it opens up normally. I have all the things that I normally would have. I got all my projects, my whole project library, um, and my event library, and I can even choose to play one if I want to. And what is uh, as you can see, and it works. Instagram, it's Matt Tutorials 14 here, also known as Zebrand 14 on my other Instagram. So it does work, as you can see, the the, uh, the screen was moving. So um, no matter what I do, it works, and no matter what I do, um, it, it works up to the point if I press this button right here, which normally if it were to work, I would record a clip myself through iMovie. So if I press this button right here, you can see it says no camera connected. To import video, please connect the camera. So this is iMovie version 9.0. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go to the first link in the description below to show you guys how to fix this. And I also wanted to point out, too, that I you can force quit, quit the application all you want or reboot all you want, but it does not fix this because I rebooted and force quitted this apple t app application, like, a lot. And I even, you know, uninstalled iMovie and installed it again to see if that was the problem because maybe I screwed up the files. Maybe it was just me. But that is not the case. So what you guys want to do is go to the description, the uh, link in the description below, which is the Mac update link. Uh, UNPKG, that's what it is, uh, unpackage, and you want to hit download. So what that's going to do is it's going to download in your downloads tab right here. It should take about a minute or so. And then um, after that, you should see a folder. Um, and in the folder, there will be three files. I already have deleted the other two because you don't need that. You only need the uh, application labeled unpackage with this symbol here. That's the only thing you need so you can delete everything else that's in the folder except for that. Now, uh, actually, what you want to do is you want to go in and you want to actually uh, you want to actually open that application up. So um, when you double click on it, it should ask uh, if you want to open it up. Um, so hit open up. And also, if it doesn't let you open up, all you do is go into System Preferences. You go into, let me just find this, you go into Security and Privacy, and you go into this, you click the lock, enter your uh, password to authenticate it, and hit Allow App Downloaded from Anywhere and Not Just Mac App Store and, un and, and Unidentified Developers and Mac App Store. You want to make sure it's anywhere. Alright, so then, once you're done that, you just want to click Open Up. And then you want to go to the second link in the description below, which will be the support.apple.com, uh, the iMovie 9.0.9. Uh, um, as you can see, what's new in ver version 9.0.9 .9 addresses issues where iMovie does not recognize video cameras connected to your Mac. Um, so that's the first thing we want to do. So actually what we want to do is we want to just hit the download tab, but I already have done that. Um, and so once it's done downloading, it, it should take six or seven minutes. Um, depending upon your bandwidth and internet speed. It's 1.08 gigabytes, so it's not that long, but it, it should take a few minutes to download. Anyway, once that's done downloading, it'll be a .dmg, so just double-click it to down to open it. Um, coincidentally, though, I already have it opened. Um, and so now what you want to do, let me just switch the way things are. Now what you want to do is you want to see... Um, so here, this is what you want to do. So you don't want to do this. What I'm doing here, you don't want to do it right now. Because I've seen a lot of people do this, they do, you know, continue, continue, agree, install, they authenticate it, so let's say I was going to install, I authenticate it, and you can see that once it's done running all the files, it'll say, like, error. You will see that in about a minute or so. It has to do this, though. And then it should say that. It should say that, they, that there's been an error, and it can't, for some reason, it can't install. Um... So this is the way to do it. I don't know why it's telling me that. Oh, so um, normally it should uh, give you an error. I don't know why it didn't give me an error. Um, but normally what you would do is just drag it into here. 
and then it, it'll actually run the um, it'll actually extract the update to your desktop. Uh, if that if that doesn't work for you and you're getting the error, this is what you do. Because um, normally the the error actually occurs. I don't know why it didn't actually do that. So should see all this go by, all this crap go by. Um, so then after you're done with that, you can just hit quit. And then um, this is the most important folder because it creates a folder that says iMovie 9.0.9 update. So this is the folder where you're going to see the new application. So go to Applications iMovie and double tap that and you should be on 9.0.9. .9. But let's just see if this actually works. Um, so let's see here. So Preferences. Not Preferences, sorry. About. And we are running 9.0.9. .9, and as you can see... Hopefully if I tap, yep, it fixes the issue. And there we go, guys. That is how to fix that. Um, also, if I were to actually just do this, do applications, and the other error, it, it kept getting an error, all you would do is uninstall the other one uh, when you are on 9.0, uninstall that, and then just drag this in your applications folder, drag it on your desktop, open the application, and it should work out fine. So anyway, guys, that's how to um, fix that error that it won't let you, um, you know, do this, you know, capture a video or whatever. Uh, I hope you liked it. If you did, make sure to rate, like, comment, subscribe, and favorite this video. That is it for this video, guys, and I guess for now, I will talk to you guys later.